right. Well, first of all, Tony, congratulations, man, on Thank winning you. the million bucks. Thank you so Honestly. Much. Nobody else really deserved it between you and Wu. There was no contest. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And how does it feel with the fan reaction that you got tonight? Well, you know, the fans, uh, a lot of people didn't like the things about me backstabbing people, betraying people, but they don't realize that if they were in the game playing for a million dollars, that's the only thing you can do to advance yourself. If you play an honorable game, you play an honest game, you're going to end up in the jury or pre-jury. And I didn't want to do one of those. I wanted to win the game. Well, I have to tell you, uh, I've really learned a lesson from you being on this game because I instantly judged you when I saw the pre-game interviews. I thought, this guy's never going to make it. And I think a lot of the rankings had you out in the top oh, five. Yeah, yeah. Are you surprised by that? I am surprised. I mean, I, I don't, maybe it's the tattoo, the bald head. I don't know what it was. I, maybe because I'm a police officer, like, oh, this guy's a, a he's, he's going to be a... I don't know what they thought, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I look like I'm a nice guy. I don't know why they thought that. Well, yeah, I was completely wrong about you, and I'm happy because as soon as you started to play, I'm like, wow, I am completely blown away by how strong you were playing. Which brings me to another question about a former contestant, Russell Hans. Right. There's been a lot of comparison between the two of you. Do you think you are like Russell? I played the same game as Russell Hans, which is an aggressive, it's strategic, it's a strong game that he played. The difference between Russell Hans and me is his, he is who he is, I am who I am, and it comes down to a personality thing. Um, Russell Hans is not a humble person, you know, he's up in your face and he makes fun of you when he votes you out, he calls you stupid, he calls you dumb, um, he takes pleasure in your, the demise of your game. I didn't take any pleasure or backstabbing anybody. I'm a humble person, I'm a very sociable person, I'm very personable, which is ha Russell Hans is not, and tonight was proof of that. Now, when you were at that final tribal council, Spencer really stepped up, talked in big support of you. Were you surprised by the way he was really pushing for you? You know, when I when I was with Spencer, I used him for a couple of times. I said, hey, Spencer, listen, I'm going to need you for a vote here or there. But I never told me, Spencer, I'm going to stick with you. I never I never lied to him in that sense because that's just going to insult his intelligence. I didn't want to insult his intelligence. I knew being that he was a victim of circumstance, that he was in the lower numbers, it was only a matter of time before he's in the jury. So I knew not to hurt him, not to do anything, not to do anything grimy me to Spencer. As well spoken as he is, I was like, you know what, maybe he will be my mouthpiece and it worked out perfect. Do you think had he not done that it would have been a different outcome? The way the way the jury uh, addressed me with uh, all the lying that I did, all the deceitful things that I did, uh, all the swearing that I did, it kind of looked like they were pretty upset with my game. Um, I think Spencer did open up their eyes for them to respect my game um, and don't take it personal. And I think I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that it did help because that was beautiful. That was a beautiful speech, and I want to give credit. I want to give credit where it's due. And that speech that he gave was beautiful. Now, how close were you to actually flipping in that final or in that four vote and, and making it a tie with Spencer? No chance. No chance. No chance at all. I wasn't. I, there was no chance at all. I'm not gonna. You know, I was gonna tell him I'm gonna think about it because I'm not gonna say no. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I don't want to do with you. I said, Spencer, let me think about it. Let me think about it. And it worked out because he knew that. Let me. I took consideration to what it is, and I made the right decision for myself. Not because I wanted to hurt him and get him out of here and give him the finger when he got voted off. Now, the one thing that surprised me is Tasha. The only vote you didn't get. Do you know why she voted against you? You'd have to ask Tasha that. I mean, uh, I don't know why Tasha didn't vote for me. I, I really don't. She's two, three tribal councils, she told everybody, if Tony makes it to the end, I'm voting for him. What changed? What changed from that point? I gave Tasha her props. I always told her that, Tasha, you're great, you're a challenge beast, and I told you I'm sorry, but everybody's gunning for you because you are a strong competitor. So I don't know why she didn't vote for me. You'd have to ask her that. Okay, at the reunion show, you talked about being a police officer and pulling people over. I have to ask, have you pulled anybody over since the show has started airing? And if so, what was their reaction to seeing you? You know what, since the show started airing, uh, my department pulled me off the streets. Okay. I'm not on the streets, I'm indoors now, because uh, just for the reasons that I am a, a face out there that people recognize as a, a, that I've been on TV. So they don't have me out on the streets no more. So I haven't pulled anybody over since. All right, what are you going to do with the million bucks? Well, the first thing I had to do is buy the pink chandelier that I promised my wife. But the second thing, from listening to someone like Spencer, talk like he does, my kids definitely need a college education. I have a high school diploma, and the way I talk, compared next to someone like Spencer, education is key. So my kids will have a college education. Any chance you're going to buy a llama? Um, you know what? I'm going to try to rent a llama. I'm going to rent a llama from uh, Cass. I want to see how that's going to be. Can we hear that one more time? Can you talk llama? She's right there. Should I do it? Yeah, talk llama. <laughs> All right, Tony. Congratulations, man. It was an honor talking to you. Thanks a lot.